Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm IG Expose One. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT. Yeah. How do you feel about banned books? <laughs> so. Jesus Christ, man. So, you know, Fahrenheit uh, 451 and Orwellian times are coming to a head. I don't know what that even means. Fahrenheit 451 was a book where they made everyone burn all the books, and 1984 was a. Uh, total, a, a uto- totalitarian, totalitarian story of utopia turned dystopia. Oh, dysto- okay, okay, okay. So, anyways, never anyway, read, never read, read any of those books. Well, nineteen eighty four is one of my favorite books, but uh, so there was a a, ca- a Texas county, Lan- Lano County. I don't know where it is. They they tried to ban some books. Some of the books they banned were, uh, cost the original of our discontents. They Never called themselves the KKK, the birth of an American terrorist group, and Never My Life as a Transgender Teen. Those are like three of the books that they banned. Never heard of any of those Me books. Me neither. So the court said they had to put them back <clears throat> on the shelves. Why? So what does any, what you is... know, red-blooded American county do when they're forced to put books back on the shelves that they've deemed are not appropriate for the children of their country. I'll burn the damn library now. No, they threatened to just shut the whole damn library down. <laughs> they're like, oh, you want us to put those books in there? We'll close the library. No one will have any books <laughs> if we gotta put our books back. That's like the total epitome of like, fine, taking my ball, I'm going home then. <laughs> like, it's going to shut down the no whole goddamn books. library because I got to put these 14 books back in or 30 books or whatever back in. Huh. I don't know. Like, I haven't seen a follow up to what actually happened, but that they, their their response was threatening to shut down the whole library. Huh. Like, people really feel strongly, strongly about this whole uh, this whole transgender thing. huh? You know what's really funny about books that should be banned? Quote what? unquote. What? You could just not read them. Yeah. Yeah, that was that's that's my thing. The first thing that happens when you ban a book, it makes everyone want to read it. Yeah. What's so bad about this book? Exactly. It's 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 crazy to me how like Mein Kampf is still re- readily available. Um, you can yeah, go. Uh, what's the one? The Communist Manifesto by yeah. Karl Marx. Like all these old books. Yeah. Like you could easily get those on Amazon. No get them problem. for free on the internet, probably. But Lowell, tell a story about a transgender teen, and holy shit, the world comes crum- comes crumbling down I on you. You don't understand it, man. And I get. I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't have children, and I don't want my children exposed to that kind of stuff. But I don't I'm, want my kids exposed to them. I don't. I, I don't, don't want to give it that that uh that uh accent, but you can. I mean, yeah, I got permission from the mothership. It's all all right. right, yeah, <laughs> you got it. I, I'm out here spokesperson and to show all the hate that, that the mothership brings sometimes. So I know is that in Florida it was getting really bad to a certain point. I don't really like talking political stuff, but I do know in Florida it's gotten to the point where. They had to tell the story of Rosa Parks without discussing her race. Is know? that is that happened in Florida? Yeah, like yeah. So you had to talk about like the whole point of it was her race and what she stood up for, but you couldn't talk about that. Yeah. It, oh, okay. It, it, the the way it was uh, depicted in the uh, the literature that was uh, used was she did not stand up because she stood up for what was right, or she stood for what she believed in. But how did they explain that she needed to sit in the back of the bus? I don't know, man. I she don't just know. her social standing made know. her have to sit and like I don't know, dude. Yeah, that I'm like talking political stuff either. I yeah. just thought it was interesting. The banning of the books, I don't, I don't want to really get into, but it's just the interesting part. Like their response was, "We'll just shut the whole goddamn library down." <laughs> like really? Yeah, I, I don't know, man. It like it's vi- we're living in a volatile time. It seems like the entire world is on edge and. It's like with the with the amount of gun shootings that are with the amount of shootings that's been happening in America, which is like more than we've had in prior years. Oh, yeah. after this, COVID, this year's been wild. Yeah, after COVID, the fact that we've got companies or companies, we've got countries posturing for war. After COVID, we've got just like racial tensions in the country are at a. At a at an all-time high and just like governments and you got the most 
everything is on edge and it's going to just take something for it to tip man oh yeah we are like it is like like and then you got to talk about like stress in the financial market stress in like different yeah, thing, markets yeah. like that like well it, i feel like that's driving most of the stress i feel like that's driving a lot of the gun violence i feel like that's driving a lot of the the uh posturing for wars it's like the people, financial yeah yeah everybody's feeling the strain of what covid inflation did. yeah everybody's feeling that strain that wasn't just something that 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 two and a half years is not something that can just happen and not have a ripple effect. So, right, 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 right. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It, it it ripple effect whether it be uh, monetary, psychologically, but yeah, I don't know, man. We're we're gonna pay the cost for that. Something something's gonna happen, man. They've, like lately in the, in the news, there's been a lot of talk about nuclear war and stuff. I don't know how you feel about that. I mean, I what, don't want it. What are you going to do if a nuclear war breaks out? Nothing. The same anybody else. What I, You ain't safe anywhere. You try to run from it. Like, like it, it was funny. I was listening to something else the other day, and they were like, they're talking about how, like, they, uh, you know, they always do those emergency broadcast alerts, like, for Amber Alerts or for, like, this is a test or, like, whatever. And, what, and the guy was complaining that it went off at, like, 4 o'clock in the morning as, like, a test. And he's like, who the hell sends a goddamn test? At four o'clock in the morning, test that at like 10, 11 in the morning when people are awake. And somebody was like, well, I just shut all the emergency alerts off. And he, he said, well, what if there's like a nuclear bomb going off? And the guy was like, so in the three minutes before the nuclear bomb hits, they put out an alert. There's a nuclear bomb coming for you. What are you going to do? Get in your car and drive far enough away that you're not going to get hurt by the, by the nuclear blast? You can't do it. And that's the same kind of mindset I have about like being out somewhere and a shooting happening or whatever, like you can't control, you can't live in the fear of that. Cause if it happens, you're not going to be able to protect yourself probably. And the chances of it happening to you are slim or are, are slim. Right. But yeah, yeah. they can happen at any time. I could walk outside the door right now. Somebody could hit me in the parking lot yeah. and I could be dead just because I wasn't paying attention. Hey, yo, and honestly, to keep it a buck with you, if you're within range of a nuclear strike, you probably want to be close enough where you die instantly. Yeah, you don't want to live that 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 radiation poisoning life, yeah, dude. That's you awful. You don't want to live with the burns and the like. Oh, I survived, but yeah, oh. like the, I mean, I, man, I watched that movie Chernobyl when I was in high school. I never saw that. It was awful, dude. It's like all the because all those people get radiation poisoning and their bodies just like dissolve. Like it's just you get all effed up, dude. Like yes, yeah, it causes like you know like gross and cancers and stuff and like yeah, so. yeah, man. You get like blood blood luck blood cancer and stuff like that, dude. It's not Jesus. it's not good, dude. Like no, but, but yeah, no. I feel you, man. It's a it's 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 a wild time out there. Uh, yeah, and I probably be I probably wouldn't want to know. Yeah, and I try to like stay abreast of the news, but I try not to get so so deep into the minutia of everything. But like, I like to be aware of what's going on. Yeah, I, and I try not to doom scroll. Is what I try to do. Yes. I'm trying not to look at all the negative stuff. I'm, if if I'm looking at if I'm looking at Reddit or something, dude, I'm I'm chopping it up. I'm gonna get in some like oh cute animals and some baby elephant gifts. <laughs> Maybe like some babar. baby hippos. <laughs> yeah. A little babar with a <laughs> crown on his head. <laughs> um bad bar. Yeah, but dude, it it well and that's the thing, is like this and if people get in these cycles like on Facebook because they feed you the same stuff, right? Facebook. Facebook, Instagram, any of it. You, you get know. fed the same sort of stuff. And the problem that people have is it, there's a very clear way to handle some of these things. It's either you either you either make a decision that you're going to do something about it and, and fight the fight, or you have to accept there's nothing you can do about it and move on and not pay attention to it. Because in that middle, that, that quote-unquote sweet spot, you just sit and develop rage about everything because you're, you're, taking, you're doing an action, so it's not doing you any – you're not trying to fight it. And then you're also not ignoring it. So you're just absorbing all of that hate and doom and doing nothing with it but letting it bubble inside you. Hmm. I don't know. I, 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 I've I never been there. I don't, yeah, me neither. Like, I don't... I I don't ju I'm the guy who reads it and goes, yeah, that sucks. Yeah. You uh, know, like, I don't know. But on the same note, man, when you... <laughs> it's kind of a dog whistle when you say you need to get up and do something about it. Or you just sit back and let it happen. 
I mean, isn't that the options? Or you can stew in the middle and do nothing and be pissed. I mean, look, man, if we try to get up and do something about everything, a lot of times we're going to get sat down with a bullet. Well, I guess I guess that's the point. It's like if you're going to sit there and be riled up but not want to take action against it, just don't <laughs> get I'll riled. Get, don't let yourself get riled up about it. I'll don't sit here and be pissed. No, I'm riled up. I want to do something, but I'll get shot. I mean, I want to march down to the city hall and storm the Capitol again. Oh, yeah. And let them know. Yeah, I was not there. And I was not. There. You were sleeping. I was. Sleeping. I was watching on TV. You were sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> See, I got an alibi. It, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> if I was, I'd want to go back now. <laughs> if I went there, I would want to go again. <laughs> Anyways, go to crazytown.com for Jonas. I want to get shot. TNT. Yep.